This is a horse that is anatomically very irregular, as in it's very tall at the back. We can expect it to adjust a bit though, as it's only four years old. It has very long hind legs, which makes it difficult for it to collect itself in the jump and in its canter. And that's what we want to show in this exercise, how to train its overline, as in how it sticks out the head and uses its back, get it to bring up the back in the air and in that way also collect itself and get a better takeoff. Camilla will now ride in, in canter, and we can see that the horse slowly increases its canter towards the obstacle, as it's difficult for it to collect itself. We can see how it jumps using its body and handles the line well, lands in canter left lead, after which it crosses over to the right. What can be a bit dangerous for the rider in this line is that the rider easily ends up out towards the ears, as we see here, pulls up the heels and stands too far ahead. That will put strain on the horse's upper body, which will make it more difficult for it to jump the line. We can also see that the rider is up on the toes. It's important that the rider has his point of balance straight above the horse, that his behind is free of the saddle and presses the heels down well. When the rider is sitting correctly, we'll see that the horse can jump more easily and freely in the front and jump upwards, like that. As it's only four years old, and even though we're at the end of the year now, we don't let these horses jump a lot. We try to strengthen them, as you'll also see here. The horse does a bit of a long jump and stretches its forelegs a bit ahead and has problems doing a flying change down here, which I'll correct by placing a pole here for it. This exercise is, of course, a very demanding exercise and needs a certain kind of experience. I have placed the pole down here to correct the horse to be able to land. If it lands in canter right lead, it can do a flying change over the pole and correct it to a canter left lead. Now we saw that the horse had a slight hind leg knockdown and we'll see the horse trying hard to correct its mistake. Again, it's because the horse jumps a bit too far. Now it lands in canter right lead and we'll want it to do the flying change over the pole. And it does do that, 